See, this is why I always pay attention to where I cast. I caught a little sauger on this point, so I fished it for a while, and I got a hit. Oh shit, that's a sauger. You ruined my white bass tutorial. That's actually a decent sauger, but it's not a keeper in this lake. I stumbled into some white bass, and I was just saying that I spot locked. So I'm way out on this point, nothing to reference off of. So I spot locked, and I'm casting over there right at that houseboat. <laughs> and I know that between my far cast and the boat, there's a school of white bass. And I caught, I don't know, a half dozen out of them, and then this guy shows up. Really, why I'm here anyway. 16 incher. See, these are a little bit smaller than walleye. Thanks, buddy. Here's what I'm using I got a quarter ounce white Binks. Seems to work a little bit better today than the Fire Tiger. It's pretty sunny. The lake's kind of clear for this lake. Seriously, that's a good sauger right there, but it's not a keeper for this lake. I'm not sure why the link limit is 18 inches here, but anyway, thanks, buddy. How I caught that one. I'm just casting. I'm actually out in 32 foot of water, but I'm positioned off of a hump where I can cast up into the top of the hump. I assume it's eight feet, I think. And uh, oh, I was strolling around the edge of it with a jig and I caught a sauger. So then I just stopped my boat and now I'm casting, but I'm not sure what depth they are and I don't want to get hung up on the depth. So I'm just casting up onto it and jigging it back. So I caught that one somewhere between eight and 32 feet deep.